She done gone and got converted to Catholicism, y'all. Who we talking about? Candace Owens, y'all. Candace Owens is a, a, a full-blown Catholic now. I am team God, okay? I'm team God. I do not fear the media. I do not fear journalists. I do not fear APAC. I don't fear big pharma. What I actually fear is God. Now, in case y'all don't know much about the Catholic Church, let's let's recap some things before we go into the issue of Candace Owens joining the Catholic Church. Uh, that alone is an issue, Catholic and, and Church. It, anyway, it, it doesn't mix. And here here's why. Um, let's just start with the, the origins of said Catholic Church real quick and what the groundings for it was. And everyone's going to say, well, it was the first church thanks to Peter. No, that's what man said that has nothing to do with the actual word of God, nor has it ever even proven that Peter was a pope, which is what they want to say. He was never that way. Why? Because if you look at what the pope says he is now, that was clearly denounced by Jesus himself. So let's not go there. Okay. And I know you can try and come at me with that statement that he didn't. You can't prove it. And it's not true. One, two, the history of the papacy itself is that the entirety of the Catholic Church follows his say-so. There is no unlike, you know, with the Protestants or the Baptists, you know, subsections of it, they all report to the Pope. Y'all may not like that, but that's the way it is. Catholicism, the head of the Catholic Church, isn't God, and it's definitely not Jesus, it's the Pope. <sighs> Number three. The Pope has recently, as in terms of last two, three years, made treaties with one, the Muslims, and two, LGBTQ. Ser homosexual no es un delito. Es una condición humana. Somos todos hijos de Dios. Y Dios nos quiere como estamos y con la fuerza que luchamos cada uno por nuestra dignidad. El ser homosexual no es un delito. Now, whether people like to admit this or not, it will eventually become the norm in the Catholic Church for the LGBTQ to become either part of the clergy or eventually the next Pope. So that brings us to Miss Owens and her joining of the Catholic Church. Now, we're going to say some things that are going to upset people. And we fully understand that you're going to get mad at us calling out the Catholic Church. But the same way we call out Muslims, the same way we call out everybody else, y'all ain't immune. And if we look at what is actually truth about, we got to go at what is spoken. Now, if Candace says that she is now coming home, home is what she says. She's coming back home. Her tweet, not our words, her tweet. I is coming back. You know, what? I'm going to make sure I read it to you. Recently, I made the decision to go home. There is, uh, of course, so much more that went into the decision than I, that I plan to share in the future. But for now, praise be to God for his gentle but relentless guiding of my heart towards truth. So do not fear, for I'm with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you and with my righteous right hand. I do not fear. Christ is king. Perhaps, perhaps Candace should get her theology correct on a few things. Um, if you're going to say you're going home and the Catholic Church has said home, maybe you should make sure that the people that have kept your home the last couple of years didn't bring some sort of infestation because that's what's in your home now. The people, of course, that you are going to go back home to, um, they have now accepted gay marriage. And you said that it's a detriment because once they say, you know, you said that the trans movement will me lead to pedophilia. Gay pedophilia happened in the Catholic Church. So is the problem the Catholic Church or is it the problem gay men that are in the Catholic Church that shouldn't be in the church? Because if you're a gay man, you shouldn't be a priest at all, right? And it is gay men that are abusing children. So whether you're a gay man abusing children at a school or a gay man a, a, abusing children at a Catholic church, the issue is that we have homosexual men that have invaded institutions. And oh, let's talk about pedophilia real quick, Mr. Owens. Um, they are known. They are known at the top level, the very top, and even on the ones below, to enable. Let's talk about altar boys for a second, shall we? 
Do you know anything about the altar boys there, Candace? Do, do you understand the whole purpose of the altar boy? Maybe you do. Maybe I, I'm, I'm thinking you don't, because if you did and you knew, I mean, you're, you're smart, right? You know history and all that stuff. You would think, you would think that you'd understand the in influence that Constantine had on the Roman Catholic Church, the original ones. OK, do you, you understand what influence he had? You know what he was, right? Maybe maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Or, or maybe you understand that they fashioned a so-called Jesus after him. And that's exactly who the Catholic Church has risen to the top as who Jesus is. And you, you do understand that they hail Mary a little bit higher than they do Jesus. You do understand that, right? Maybe you don't. But you said Christ is king, but it's not the case in the Catholic Church. Maybe you don't understand this part, too, that all of the symbology that they have in the Catholic Church is all demonic. Maybe you didn't realize that. Maybe, maybe, just maybe you didn't realize that. Or you don't attribute it to the one that you follow. Maybe you think those, the version of Catholicism that you have is different than the rest of them. That's not how Catholicism works, Candace. Uh, may, maybe, and, and look, I understand that you know how to grift. I get it. You're good at it. I don't dog if you're good at the game. Hate the player, not the game. I get it, but you know, this is you. You know how to do it. You've grifted from left to right, from working with Jews to not working with Jews to, you're good at it. And here you are again. You know, I can't dog you too much. I can't because it's working. If I can give you one prop, it's this. You're good at what you do. You're good at what you do. Unfortunately for you though, it, it doesn't make your life any more true or any more real. It just makes you a really good grifter. The Catholic Church is who you decide to go home to, yet still they embrace all the stuff that you say you're against. Kind of reminds me of another thing that you did. What was that? What was that? Oh, yeah, the Super Bowl. Huh. Rap music is going to be the detriment of the black community. Super Bowl fast forward. Man, black excellence here. <laughs> If it's one thing you have that I, I, you know, you have is that forked tongue. You definitely know how to go both ways. So maybe you might fit in the Catholic Church because you go both ways. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I mean, you can assume that means what you think it means. I'm just assuming that you feel at home in that environment because they're not honest with themselves either. But that seems to be par for the course, doesn't it, for you? But hey, don't let me just judge you because Christ is King after all. By the way, Candace, who is Christ? Hmm. I doubt you'll be able to answer that one. Uh, okay, what is his role in the Catholic Church, by the way? Here's a, here's a third one. Maybe this one you might be able to answer because you're so intelligent. Let's see if you'll answer this one. Does the Bible mention any reference and reverence to Queen, and oh, not Queen, Mary? Because that's about how the Pope really, you know, looks at, at Mary as a queen. Does it say we need to worship Mary? And if it does say we need to worship Mary, please show me where. I'm, I'm banking that you won't be able to do that because you're going based on what someone else told you. So those are my questions for you. If you do have an answer for me, I'd, re I'd really appreciate a response. I mean, we, we're looking for one. We've been asking you for a while for a response, but you've been uh, unwilling. I think that's the word unwilling. Uh, either that or afraid. I, ha I, I don't want to think that you're afraid, but walk like a duck, talk like a duck. Might be a duck. Change our minds, perhaps. Don't think it'll happen. But for those of you who are so taken back by Candace Owens becoming a Catholic and this man is so awesome, welcome home. I would ask you to analyze this so-called faith that you guys follow. I, I would really ask you to analyze the faith that you follow. Because if the faith you say you follow and then you're telling me that Christ is King doesn't actually hold Christ as King, then there might be a discrepancy in your belief structure. and You might want to rethink what you think you believe. But then again, the whole reason you're following it is because you're deluded. So if you're deluded, I guess you'll remain that way and follow whatever you want to follow anyway. So it's a wash for you. For the rest of us who understand that symbology and symbols will be their downfall. If you still want to follow what the Catholic Church is putting out, you have a larger problem than anybody else can fix. And I'm serious about that. I want you to change your mind, but if you don't, that's on you. But hey, you have someone big in your corner now, someone second to the Pope, Candace Owens. She'll be probably be the next Pope. 
because hey, everything, everything that's white needs to become black. So, and she's trying her best to grift to both sides. So you never, she might become the great uniter and become the first female black pope. Ain't wouldn't that be something? That'd be amazing, because they both don't follow Christ. So, with that being said, Candace, if you can answer those questions for me, that'd be amazing. But if you don't answer the questions, we can understand why. This is too strong, and we are looking forward to your response, Miss Owens.